Alright, today I'm doing my version of lentil soup. I like to do it with braised ham hock. Uh, really flavors the stock nicely in just a rich, delicious winter soup. So you're going to get one pork smoked ham hock. Alright, that's basically the hind uh, shank of a pig, the lower, lower ankle there. And uh, it takes a long time to braise, but it's totally worth it. Very delicious flavor. Uh, we're going to simmer it in some stock. I'm going to go one quart of chicken stock and one quart of beef broth. So uh, you can do two quarts of any kind of liquid, basically. But I'm going to use half chicken, half beef here. So it's two quarts all together. All right, we're going to bring that up to a simmer. I'm going to add some black pepper and a little bit of cayenne to taste. That was about a half a teaspoon. You're going to adjust all this stuff later, of course, with any soup. One bay leaf. And uh, I think dry thyme is really nice with uh, any kind of bean soup or lentils. So I'm going to go with some dry thyme. Any kind of dried herbs probably going to work here, whatever your favorites. I'm not adding salt, okay? That smoked ham hock uh, could be salty. I don't know yet, but I'm going to taste later. Put the lid on and simmer that on low for one hour and 30 minutes. See, new improved graphics, one hour, 30 minutes. And in that hour and 30 minutes, well, that hock still is not tender, but it's starting to get there. The meat is starting to pull away from the bone. It's still very, very tough though. So it's going to need to cook for quite a while longer. But at this point, we're going to add, add our mirepoix. Now, pardon my French, but as you well know, mirepoix is just celery, carrots, and onions. It's usually two parts onion to one part celery, one part carrot. So I did about two cups of onion, a cup of carrot, and a cup of celery just diced up. It doesn't have to be exact. It's soup, for God's sake. So uh, put in your veggies. We're going to cover this back up, and we're going to simmer this for 30 more minutes. Okay? Graphic, please. All right. So simmer that with the lid on for 30 minutes. What you're going to find 30 minutes later, okay, the vegetables are uh, pretty much cooked, all right? This, that stock is getting just incredibly flavorful. The smell is unbelievable. All right, I sound like emerald again. All right, now we're going to add our lentils. Two cups of green lentils, all kinds of lentils, green, yellow, red. So they all work for this. I use green this time. We're going to put the lid on. All right, get ready for graphic. 30 minutes covered. Simmer for 30 more minutes on low. Now, you're going to take the lid off. The lentils are not going to be cooked yet. They take about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, but they're going to be close. But for the rest of the cooking, all right, we're going to leave the lid off because we want it to reduce a little bit. And we also, uh, you'll see how that starts simmering. That starts pushing the fat to the edges of the, of the kettle. You can go and skim the, um, the oil that came up off the top. And there, about 20 minutes later, my lentils were pretty much hydrated. All right, there's my uh, pork hock bone. It's just the bone left. There's the skin that came off. All right, and you can discard that skin if you want. Now, I'm going to tell you, though, in some cu cultures, uh, boy, that would be considered almost a crime. Uh, that skin would be uh, probably fried up or, or roasted and uh, served with the soup or as a se separate dish. But anyway... Uh, when I dished this up, I just took a couple couple chunks of that beautiful, succulent, soft uh, ham hock meat and garnished my couple ladles of lentil soup. The lentil's perfectly tender. Uh, I have my aromatic vegetables, the mirepoix, a little bit of fresh parsley. All right, of course, at the end, I checked for uh, salt and pepper. And uh, what a great soup. So easy. Um, I know it's convenient. You open that can of lentil soup, but um, it's a great excuse. You pick up one of those ham hocks or pork smoked pork hocks at the butcher, and uh, a couple hours later you're eating an incredibly delicious soup. Uh, hope you give that a try and enjoy. And by the way, this is our 100th video recipe. Thank you very much.